Okay, so here we are with another little snowmelt system installed. <clears throat> we get a lot of questions about how the system works, what is required, ask questions about uh, the setup. It's simpler to just make a little video, I guess. So the system components are the manifold that distributes the uh, water into the driveway and walkways. Uh, there is a hydraulic space heater that keeps the garage warm enough. There is a hydraulic separator and there is a boiler. These are the main components. <clears throat> the reason we need a garage heater is that when these boilers are burning gas, one of the byproducts is water vapor, which condenses, hence condensing boilers, drains to the bottom of the boiler and then needs to be drained into a drain or outside. When the boiler is working, there's no problem, water, warm water is flowing out of it. But when the boiler finally turns off, there is no more snow to melt, then this water, if the boiler is in a non-heated environment, will freeze inside this trap. The next time the boiler starts off for a snow melt to uh, be completed, there is now an ice plug in this trap. Condensation water starts flowing, hits this plug, backs up right into the boiler, shuts down the boiler because it gets flooded, now the water freezes inside the heat exchanger and it cracks it more likely than not, thus voiding the warranty and necessitating the installation of a new boiler. Obviously you want to uh, avoid that. So the simplest way is just put in a little garage heater and that will ensure that the temperatures above uh, freezing temperature uh, in the winter time and your boiler is safe to use. So these are the components. Uh, the boiler size depends on obviously the load which dictated by the size of the driveway. Pumps are basically the same except smaller driveway, smaller boiler, smaller pump size, smaller circulator pumps. We have automatic snowmelt controls that will uh, turn on only if there is a need for the snow to be melted, it's cold enough and wet outside, it will run a melt cycle. We also have a little thermostat that controls the space heater. You can set it from 5 degrees up to whatever you wish. And so this is the system. <clears throat>